Well, it's wonderful, that. Holly Humberston, The Walls Are Way Too Thin, Radio 2. Uh, thank you to this uh, for this from Andrew in Northampton. Says best thing I've done so far this month is follow you on Instagram. Looking good, Ange. Thank you very much. Uh, and Sandy in Edinburgh says most exciting thing done so far this month is discover the first orange tomato, my first ever plant grown from seed, promptly fed and watered. Happy smiling face. A sneaky thing must have ripened whilst basking in the afternoon sun. Now. Midnight Mastermind. See, Sandy, now I'm not a, I'm no gardener whatsoever. I grow nothing in my house whatsoever. My wife does. But when you do get some sort of fruit or vegetable from one of your own plants, oh, it is wonderful. It's basically the good life, isn't it? It's the good life. Uh, so another highbrow Midnight Mastermind yesterday. Who do we think we are? University Challenge Radio 4. Uh, Rose near Gloucestershire was asking the questions on... Equitation science. Now, I originally thought that was something to do with the equator. No, not at all. It is to do with horses and our relationship with horses and how we should treat them and how you should not anthropomorphise them. I learnt that yesterday. And I did all right, even though my research was appalling. So uh, how would we do today after a two out of three yesterday? Let's find out by seeing who is asking me the question. So, sir or madam, what is your name? It's Judith Jermaine. Judith, where are you in the world? I'm in London. Sorry. Lo- ah, lovely, lovely. Best thing you've done so far in July? You've got 30 minutes to choose from. <laughs> We're talking to you, of course. Oh, that is lovely, Judith. Lovely. Now we've got important business as you tell me what is going to be your specialist subject. Well, for you, it's going to be Star Trek Voyager. Oh, OK. I do love a bit of Star Trek, I'll be honest. Never watched Voyager, but that shan't stop me. I shall do my research and then three questions on Voyager. Oh, the song's running out there for my research time is ending. Oh, this is a big old Wikipedia entry. Oh, anyway, the song has ended there for my research time is done. Let me shut that down. Uh, we are doing three questions on Star Trek Voyager from Judith, who's in Surrey. Judith, I always like to know why. Why this subject? Well, because I specialise in maverick leadership and I think that Janeway's character is a great maverick leader. Ooh, go on, explain why. Explain why you think she's a great maverick leader. Because she stands up for what she believes in. She's all about the greater good, passionate, tolerant. She gets stuff done and she manages to align two crews together to the mission. She doesn't go against her principles. Now, you see, before I said I'd never watch Voyager, just doing my research there, I definitely have watched Voyager. I definitely have watched Voyager. I just remember getting frustrated with it because I just wanted them to get home. But I don't want to go into too much in case I ruin your questions. Um, Are you a Trekkie? Are you a Star Trek fan? I'm a serious fan, yeah. Serious fan. So is this the greatest series for you? It is. It is, definitely. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, it's a great subject. So, let me set the mood. Midnight Mastermind. Of which I've now done. Judith, are you ready to be in control of Radio 2? I am definitely ready. Good. Well, I'm going to sit back from the controls back here on the bridge. You're now going to take over in our away ship. I don't think I'm using the right terminology here for this analogy. Uh, and you're now in control of Radio 2. Three questions on Voyager. Take it away, Judith. OK, question one. Which actor was the first Captain Janeway? Okay. Now, I only know one actor, so I'm going to go with that. And I must admit, I did think there was only one. So I'm going to go with Kate Mulgrew. She was the eventual one. Oh, okay. The first Uh, one was Genevieve Bujold for one and a half days. Oh, (laughs) that's one of those great pop quiz questions that people who are in the know would have known. Good question. Ah, hoisted. (laughs) So, uh, bad start for me. Great start for you. Let's go question two. I think you'll get this one. So, how far in the Delta Quadrant was Voyager lost? Now, you see, I've written down the words delta and quadrant, but not how far. So <laughs> this could be how any... How many light years away? Okay, right good. Though. Okay, and how many light years? So this is going to be a guess of how many light years. So <laughs> if I get this right, can I have a full house just for getting it right? I think so. You've got to remember, they were going for seven seasons. So It's, it's a long way. It's a, a long, long way, way. So that's at least seven light years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say they were... 58,000 light years away. 
Not too bad. It was seventy-five thousand. Oh, do you know I, I was what? in the right ballpark there, at least. Um, yeah, this is all gone. That. This is all. No, don't give me that. Um, <laughs> uh, this has all gone wrong for me, Judith. So let's see if I can scrape a single point with your final question. Right. Let's just let's see now if you were lying to me because you said that you did watch Star Trek. So you know Jonathan Frakes was in the Next Generation. Yes. D- did he ever appear in Voyager? Well, obviously, this is a fifty-fifty. <laughs> I'm gonna say, you know, this is this is between a blowout and just a merely poor score. So I'm gonna say, no, he never was. Oh, he was oh. in season two. Oh, <laughs> the, the booze are for me, Judith. The booze are for me. I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's me for being rubbish. <laughs> hey, great questions. If anybody was a fan of Voyager that had got those right, and I'm sure people are playing along right now, uh, you mentioned the fact of what you do. You've written a book as well, haven't you? Yes, I have. So how can people get involved and how can people find out about you and what you do? Okay, well, the book is available on Amazon and it's called The Maverick Paradox, Mm. The Secret Power Behind Successful Leaders. And my website is maverickparadox.co.uk. And I also have a magazine and a podcast. Wow! You are a busy person, (laughs) Judith. Well, listen, it's been great having you on. Thank you for those great questions. They were really good. Uh, And, yeah, have a great rest of your night. Thank you, Judith. And you too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. 